And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Vimer Dinger Control. We didn't quite get to this deck last night, but we're playing it first this morning. Um, yeah, we played, but the first time we played this deck was about five days ago, and it looked really impressive. The combination of Vi and Heimerdinger in the control deck. The reason why is because we we were playing like a con, a control deck, but we got to be proactive. Whether it's Vi being a large creature that's that's attacking and challenging and is tough to kill. Hmm. Yeah, I guess it is. Um, <laughs> or whether it was Heimerdinger playing this on turn five and then playing. Um, some flash of brilliances and making a bunch of 3-1 turrets and being able to go wide with elusive attackers. So we got to be proactive, um, yet still had good control elements as well. Not changing anything from the deck. Um, I also really like Spirit's Refuge with Vi. That worked out really well with the lifesteal. I do really want to fit a health potion or two in here though. With all this burn running around, health potion is just a card I absolutely love. But I don't really know what to take out. I think the the card that uh, would probably be the one is like maybe take out an Eye of the Dragon for a health potion. I think that's that's like the card. Um, but Eye of the Dragon's also good against burn. You know, as a two mana one three that also attunes, so you get like one of your mana back for for other things. This is also just a solid card against burn. So honestly, I'm not really exactly sure what we would uh take out so i'm gonna just i'm just gonna leave it like this but as we play the games we can see if there's anything that uh doesn't look very good that maybe we could replace a health potion with it's also kind of thinking maybe deep meditation this card is kind of expensive um for how fast the metagame is but it is very good against control so we'll we'll just try it like this and let's go play five games over in ranked we are in masters now Number 100. Hey, King Zerati. I am doing well. I'm doing well. Hope you're having a good early start to your Friday also. Playing against a Frostbite deck. I haven't played against a Frostbite deck. As y'all know, I kind of champion a Frostbite deck with my Sejuani Frostbite, but I haven't played against another one in a long time. All right, there we go. Just kind of upgraded our removal. Got some cheaper stuff. Uh, no, I wouldn't really rank Ezreal Karma top three of the game right now myself. But that also could be kind of be like a play style type thing. I've never really done well with that deck, and and I don't know playing against it kind of recently. It doesn't. Um, it's nothing I'm like super impressed with. Honestly, I think the metagame's too fast for it. Hey, Gucci. We see to all. Dang, that was awesome. So the Elixir of Iron also made a 3-4 Starlet Seer. Elixir of Iron's amazing. I do like Freljord. I really like Starlet Seer also. Freljord's maybe my favorite region. Just the type of cards that it has. I also like Bilgewater, too. Zipons is, Vi still has a bug if you level her when you have a copy of her in hand, then play the spell version, it'll keep any buffs it collected as Vi. Huh. Attacking for a lot here. Another 8 damage. I just want to play Vi. I know I could twin disciplines and save that and then, I don't know, something else, but. Many under one definitely wanted, just wanted to have Vi. Mm. 
guess I need to kill this thing. Things if I kill this, I can survive a glory seeker. Drawing another meditation, I kind of wish I would have gone with the two spells last turn, because then we would have been able to play these meditations. I guess I could have done that before damage and we would have got two points on that thing. Oh, I'm sorry, King Zarati. Faster than my arrow? I think not. Um That's kinda bad. Probably kinda bad. So if I play this I'll have six mana. So I can't will and disciplines. Hmm. Why would they possibly not attack with the Starlet Seer if they had that? Really use Heimerdinger right about now. There's Heimerdinger. Probably, probably too little, too late. So I'm gonna have to like block with Heimerdinger. Yeah, Starlo's put in work, but then also the Avros and Hearthguard. Yeah. Starlet Seer is just pretty great. Let's cast another one of these. Beauty charms while claws take hold. Get a three one. And then 
I'm going to um Man, it's hard. I don't know. I don't think I could, I can't save Heimerdinger and Vi, so I guess we're going to save Heimerdinger with Will of Ionia. Oh no, cuz then I, if I do that, then I can't, don't get to play anything else. Ugh. Obviously that's blocking there. And we'll just go like block block. Get some new turrets. This will be a good winter. Well, that's not great. But still, Heimerdinger did its job. Got us four three ones last turn. Um. I will unite the frail yard. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. Yeah, that's that's game. Wow. Uh, yeah, they're attacking for 23. I mean, I guess this heals me more than this does. Playing playing this would only save five life from the Rhyme Thing Wolf. This would save this save seven life. And we don't give them the frostbite trigger. As the arrow flies. Okay. Still alive. For a little bit. Probably not for long. But for a little bit. I, what's my best draw? Like Heimerdinger, I guess? <laughs> Maybe they had another Ash in hand. A bigger Ash. They don't know about this unlicensed innovation. They could know that. They could know that an e illegal contraption created it. The thing is, if, if I just make the two creatures and pass, I just auto lose because they they flash freeze one, attack with Ash, die, and then you know I, I'm dead. I tried like attacking, and maybe they would just like trade with one of these and not flash freeze. Oh well. 
Well, again, they, there's no reason to challenge. I can't block. They would have won if they didn't challenge. <sighs> Darn. Okay, well. They got there eventually. The card that really won that was that Reckoning. That Reckoning was incredible. But also the well, also the um, the other thing, if you remember, uh, that elixir of iron on turn two, turn two Starlet Seer plus elixir of iron to keep the Starlet Seer alive that hit another Starlet Seer to make it a, a three four that they had right away. That was also absolutely amazing. Like that got them very far ahead. Okay. So normally I'd be keeping a flash of brilliance. I think I'm gonna mulligan it though against the burn deck. <laughs> Thanks, Enigma Zill. Yeah, that culling strike, that was yeah, that was really good too. They had they just had a lot of good stuff, you know, GG's. Hmm. So I don't like get excited. You have to discard something. I hate discarding stuff. I could play thermogenic beam, I guess. But I feel like it's better to play get excited. Maybe I just beam because I don't want to discard any of these. The card I would discard would be the other Get Excited. That's the card I would discard. Which we will very likely have something better to discard than that later. Plus, maybe we race. Who knows? No if they have Noxion Fervor, I'm in a lot of trouble. Remember the objectives. Shadow Assassin? Heimerdinger? I was going to say the Noxion Fervor because of my, my lifesteal. Like, if I go Barrier Lifesteal and they go Noxion Fervor. But obviously I would like to save the, ref the Refuge for Vi. That would be the best case scenario. I was really hoping they would play a three mana card. Make the Empire proud. I need no weapon. Yeah, I sure hope they don't have Noxion Fervor. I mean, I guess I mean they could just have Get Excited also and just get excited their own thing. I mean it doesn't get better for me. Coming at ya. 
Oh, I don't even have any mana. What am I even doing? I don't even have mana. I just played Vi. What am I doing? <laughs> it's early. That's what I'm going to call it. It's early in the morning. And they did have Noxion Fervor. So, it's just everything's going wrong. Alright, don't have another one. If they don't have a, a direct damage spell in this card or the next card, we win. If they have a direct damage spell, we lose. It's just that. Like, that's the game. If they have direct damage, we lose. If they don't, we win. They don't! We win. Hooray! What's the worst that could happen? All right, they have to discard their hand. Draw three. I'll just put this back in their hand, so they'll just discard that. Also. Cancel out their two damage from the Boom Crew rookie. Time to go. Fired. Oh no. Oh no. Don't tell me I'm dead. Wow. Wow. Dang. I thought they were going to win that, but yeah, Augmented Experimenter. It's a card you don't see very often, but, you know, if opponent had it. And that first draw three. Um, you know, they got... They found all those direct damage spells. They got ten direct damage. I mean, really, twelve direct... They got twelve direct damage because they gained two life. So there, there are three cards they drew plus the next one. So the four... 12 direct damage. Was it also plus the next one? Maybe it was 5. Alright, we are facing a Vi Heimerdinger mirror. Getting rid of Vi is not what we should be doing. I just want to find Flash of Brilliances, though. Yeah, the burn deck is great. It really is. Whoa, your 
heavy, puppy. Sinking in. So if I play Eye of the Dragon first, we would attune, but our spell mana was already filled up, so we wouldn't have gotten that extra mana. Here's the puppy girl. Here's Harvey over here. Mike's kind of in the way for Harvey. There you see Harvey right here. See, there she is. You got me. I definitely want to have the, the three spell mana with uh, Heimerdinger next turn. <clears throat> and so do they. Yeah, it's pretty sad when you gain nine life with, you know, Vi Refuge, you gain nine life and they still have enough burn to finish you off. I'm doing this my way. Noxion Fervor is incredible. Heimerdingers. Another Heimerdinger? Nothing but rotating mirrors and projected lights. Oldest trick in the book. Hmm. Hey, Pools. Everything's going good. We got our early stream today. Thanks for joining. Thanks, everybody else, for joining. <laughs> hey, puppy. She's so happy. After Wizard, thanks for gifting out a sub. Pool's getting the sub. Let's go. Um. And Enigma Soul. Santa After Wizard. So I want to play something, because I want to have a second spell. You know, let's just play this Vi. I want to play two spells, you know, for my uh, dragon card out there. Sure, that's fine. And yeah, reached 100. Thanks, After Wizard. Yeah, getting the dog hype in here. Puppy. Uh, 
Okay, so we're gonna go... I don't I really don't like again there's nothing for me to play for like my first spell to, to make this Vi 10 you know that would be nice I do I should just attack with this eye of the dragon if they want to block with their turret that's fine Or do you need to play a spell to do so? They have to have tech cards over there, right? Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, so they got to play something. So they just cast that thing. Clear your Let your I will do the same. Because y'all ever just sit in quarantine and eat a whole party size of chips and then start another? <laughs> yeah, chips are. I I I'm kind of like that with chips. If if I start a bag of chips for some reason, I cannot just uh, stop eating the bag of chips until they're gone. Hey, Scrub Lord. Thank hey, thanks for getting up early. I appreciate it. Got A lot of people are up early. That's awesome. We got 55 people in here. That's really cool. Welcome, everybody. Let this work. Just have the Heimerdinger die. Come on. This is both our second Heimerdingers and our first Vise. So if this Heimerdinger dies, they only have they're left with one more. Um quiet steps. The dragon approaches. Yep, I was the one attacking there, challenged that Heimerdinger. They got a lot more Claw of the Dragons.
I don't really care about this Eye of the Dragon at all. Just gonna throw it, throw it in there. Yeah, bouncing Vi also resets Vi. Yeah, basically just getting this thing out of the way so we can play more turrets. That's the second time we've bounced Vi that was challenging the Heimerdinger and it resolved both times. Opponent surrendered. All right, we won the mirror. Got the mirror. We had more more Heimerdinger turrets. That's how you win the mirror. See, like this this bonus number is is wrong. How it says bonus eight hundred, like that should be bonus four hundred. And you can see, like with bonus, we we got six hundred XP. So that's the thing. Like on the main screen, how it says that it's this isn't uh, showing properly, but it gives you the the proper amount of bonus. Hey, Dreamwalker. Okay, what deck to grind for uh, with as a starter deck that is not burn? Um, I really like the the Sejuani Freljord deck. And if you <clears throat> if you just did the seven days of login, you got like the two free ashes. That'd be, you know, that that could help you out. Let me let me find you a list. We're going over to YouTube, Sejuani. Here we go. No, I haven't tried any more of the Starlit Ezreal deck. We just played it that, that one time, but that was definitely a lot of fun. You're welcome, Dreamwalker. Alright, what do we got? We got Burn. We're gonna get rid of these two. They're kind of slow. Heimerdinger is just our, it's just our card that can let us win the game. Man, stop having that whenever I have Thermogenic Beam. There we go, Flash of Brilliance is perfect. Let's draw some more Flash of Brilliances. So turn five, we can go crazy. Come on, two Boom Crew rookies. Come on. Okay, ready. The dragon binds us. Better run. Man, this is not. Not good. Won't find better this side of the sun. Uh, looks like the game's just over. Yep. Okay. 
So obviously this is not ideal. I wanted to be able to wait for Heimerdinger, Flash, or Brilliance, but we just have to do that. Get this draggling in play. Come on. Stop with the Boom Crew rookies. Block that keeps me alive. You cannot escape. <laughs> yeah, that's what we did. We we healed for, for 9 and still lost turn 7 that other time we played against this deck. I, f I fully expect that, that burn deck to get nerfed. It is... It's unbelievably good. It really is. It's just it's just playing on a different level than everything else. Just the efficiency that it has. Um, you know, basically the the new additions um, that it got. Really, that that Noxion Fervor card has stepped it up a bunch. Um, yeah, the yeah, that's also true. Enigma's Soul says, I feel like the Rising Tide set as a whole did a lot to, to make the game shorter. Um, yeah, Control was 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 definitely dominating before. Uh, you know, the kind of, the non-Control strategies, they were doing really good. They they kind of, they nerfed uh, different times, like the Elusives deck, they nerfed a few times, and Hecarim, and uh, Shadow, Shadow Isles in general got nerfed a bunch. And so it kind of left control decks to be really good at the end, you know, Karina control, Karma as. And so the games were really long. All right, we're gonna be digging for Heimerdinger. I'm keeping the, the super high upside of the Flash of Brilliances, looking for Heimerdinger to go alongside with them. The deck list for the burn deck. Uh, yeah, here I'll I'll give you my my version. I mean, there's there's basically there's 13 cards that are all great, and you just play three of all those 13 cards, and then whatever you want to play for the last slots, whatever. Mine has mine has an Ezreal, but you know you can play Transfusion instead. Transfusion's a good card also. I 
you just play like the three one drops boom crew um legion grenadier and then the two noxus ones crimson disciple and the imperialist um, whatever the name of that card is and so that gets you seven and then three mana you got draven and you you can do it without champions if you don't play draven you just play more transfusions and static shocks um we had one opponent earlier play augmented experimenter which sure i guess um you're covered But anyway, probably go, go Draven, the Caustic 3-drop, and then... So that's 9, and then your Burn Spells of Mystic Shot, Get Excited, and Noxion Fervor. Don't really love any of my options. <clears throat> we have to find Heimerdinger. Where are you at, Heimerdinger? do anything until we find Heimerdinger. They're passing turn. I'll pass back. I was planning on casting the Deep Meditation. But they just, you know, they just passed the turn, so... Yay! Yeah, I'm, I'm glad they just passed. I don't know why they just passed turn. I mean, I just, guess they thought that was going to be playing stuff. Still keeps me with three mana for next turn. Doesn't look good for now, puppy. But we'll come back. We have Heimerdinger. We got this. Heimerdinger, not exactly fair. Oh, you're just not having it, huh? Just not having it? Oh, all right. She's still there. Oh no. So I could have played the Get Excited and got another 3 1, but then we would leave Heimerdinger vulnerable. Like if I get excited, like the War Chefs. Um, yeah, like basically we'd leave Heimerdinger pretty vulnerable at that point, so. 
didn't do it, we would be discarding the Dragon's Rage, I believe. The, the real question that, yeah, like, I definitely think that, um, like, I really think the burn deck is going to get nerfed in some, uh, let's see, yeah, it doesn't, doesn't really say, so I really think, it's, like, it's going to get nerfed in some fashion, uh, just what, what that fashion is, is yet to be seen, but... But the real question is, is there going to be a patch this month with the new set that just came out, you know, like on the 30th, you know, 28th, really. So it came out on the 28th. Is there, there going to be a balance patch this month? Which I think so. I mean, they've had balance patches every single month. So I would I would think there would be. And, and if that's the case, it would probably be this upcoming Tuesday. I mean, I guess maybe they would push it back to the 19th. But it's usually been the the middle Tuesday, which I guess I guess both the twelfth and the nineteenth are middle Tuesday, so maybe it's on the nineteenth. Uh, yeah, I don't I don't really know Enigma Soul. That's that's the thing that makes the burn deck so good is like you want to build an anti burn deck. Don't know exactly what that looks like to be honest. I've I've been trying like all week different things and it just there's nothing that's like really worked. The burn deck's too efficient. There's not like there's not anything you can play that's gonna be like a hundred percent against burn. It's, it's too efficient. I've been playing a ton of basically I think I think it kind of starts with Ionia because Ionia gives you health potion and I think health potion is the best card that you can have. Again, I don't want to tap out and, and risk the Heimerdinger dying. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I can't. Well, if I play that, I don't get a turret. Um. That's probably fine. I don't get a two one turret. Eh. No, let's let's try to play some more cards from our hand first. So you just need to sustain. I pl I just played Demacia, Ionia, play barrier cards for life gain and double attack with scout units. Okay. Oh, whoops. Wrong card. This one. The problem with that though is I've I have struggled against like the direct damage like had those games that um Hope burns on. basically with direct damage I've had enough um yeah, like, I've, I've been able to, like, block all their early stuff, but they just dealt 20 direct damage. Or, well, like, or 18 or something like that. 2, 3, 4, 6, 7. Obviously, we need Will of Ionia. We are playing three Will of Ionias. I've cast one so far. Back. 
Yesterday we played Karma Thresh Control, and that was um, that that version that I had there had a ton of life gain. We went two and one against Burn. They still had like one one hand where they had a couple of really key Noxian fervors and and ended up winning, but. Um, I mean, cannot add more blockers. What's going on? There we go. So I'd, I'd recommend looking into that. Like that's that's like the probably my best anti-burn deck right now. But it's not it's not perfect. You know, like you're just you're just not going to win 100 percent of your games. That's just how it is. All right, there we go. Two and three. So we did go 0-2 against Burn, went 2-1 otherwise. We get a Wild Capsule. Sweet. Got a Wild Capsule. Yeah, we could we could kick the Fiora. Does... That doesn't... Um... That doesn't actually kill the Fiora, though, right? If we would have kicked the Fiora, I guess I didn't didn't pay attention enough to the wording of Dragon's Rage. Let's see, where's my deck? What are we playing? Vimerdinger. Would that have actually gotten rid of it? Oh, cause yeah, then that recalls it. Okay, yeah, the the second part. I forgot about the second part. If an enemy survives, recall it. That's right. I, I kind of just forgot about that second part with Dragon's Rage. You know, I just haven't I haven't really played Dragon's Rage at all, so I forgot about the second part. If an enemy survives, recall it. So, yeah, that could have been a way for us to get rid of the Fiora. Definitely. Okay. Yeah. All right, Maximus, the last uh, YouTube video is missing the deck code. Which which one? The Karma Thresh that I just linked, it's it's in there. You just you have to click the the more you know, the view more button. <laughs> anyway, there we go. That's uh Vimerdinger control. So yeah, burn matchup still kinda rough. Like like I talked about at the beginning of the video, I would like to put health potions in here, but I don't really know where to uh, where to fit them in. I, the dragon never really looked that good. Was it like, but that's the thing is I have the dragon as a blocker better than health potion against burn. Cause it really didn't look that good in other spots, to be honest. 
I have been really disappointed with this card. I thought this card was going to be awesome, but it's actually just kind of too difficult to really get the draglings. Like we're we're not really playing two spells a turn that often, and by the time that we do, the draglings aren't really that uh, important. So we're kind of just playing a two mana one three that replaces one spell mana, and with our deck, that's a, effectively a one mana one three. But it's still it's like just a one three. It's like what what are we doing with a one three? So maybe instead of the Eye of the Dragons, maybe you go one Health Potion and a second Solitary Monk. Solitary Monk's are a good card to have on turn three. Especially whenever we're playing a, a full-on Twin Disciplines deck and, and everything like that. Like That's a pretty good card to have on turn three. And then also, especially if we don't have Eye of the Dragon that we would be picking up from the Solitary Monk anyway. So that's how we can fit a Health Potion in. Having Health Potion also helps you cast two spells a turn for the Claws of the Dragon and for the deep meditation it's easier to cast two spells in a turn when you have health potion um so so there we go all right that's vine redeemer control pretty good deck you know sure we just went two three but pretty good at deck i'd have to say all right those y'all watching this later on on youtube hit that like button over there feel free to leave those comments let me know what you think of the deck Anything else, you know, I always like seeing those comments. And if you got questions, um, anything like that, I'll try to answer them. All right, but that's it here for Vine Redinger Control. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.